What's up guys, so I was exploring the OSAP News Sharp web application, uh, buggy web application and exploring the vulnerabilities in this. So in the background I am, uh, I have uh, burp suite running in the background and intercepting all the requests and it is running on my local host as you can see. The server is uh, running right here. So I found this endpoint that is uh, quite interesting to explore like this one. FEI users and then passing the user ID and this is going to return the details of that user as you can see right here 21 uh, user uh, and it returns the detail of that user so if I change this uh, to let's say 20 uh, in the request um, it is going to return the details of the ID the user that has uh, ID 20 so this is a kind of uh, IDO and secure uh, direct object reference because you are returning the details of the user uh, without validating where this is the authentic user or not so this can be quite risky on the actual applications where if you um, if you are able to return the details of that user like the email and all those stuff this database table or this endpoint returns only the username email and a role and all those stuff but uh, an actual application this can be quite uh, risky so uh, either you are testing the application for uh, bug bounty stuffs or you are developing application make, make sure to um, validate if you are uh, returning the details of authentic user uh, especially in cases of profile so you will be returning the details not based on id that is coming from the front end side based on the session id that we have right here so this is the here we have the barrier token of the authentic user we can either use this one or uh, we can uh, do something on the server side to check where the id that is coming from the front end side is the id of the authentic user or not uh, if that is not the case then return error that uh, you don't have access to this uh, uh, page or not found uh, 404 in some something, something like that so here as you can see uh, this endpoint API users and then the ID of the user returns um, every user ID so this shouldn't be the case and this is kind of the ID or vulnerability uh, in this uh, use sharp application this is just for testing like uh, testing the hacking skill so um, they might be included this to explore this vulnerability but on real application this might be quite risky thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one